<laughs> Thank you. That's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I know. I understand. You too. Well, hello everybody. This is Cruise Man. You probably guessed that by now. Just finished having coffee and getting a little work done here at Einstein's. Getting ready to head home. Thought I would uh, touch base with you, let you know what's going on around the world of Cruise Man's Garage. A lot of you A lot of you probably have been to this channel before, but just in case you haven't, let me tell you what it's all about. It's all about stuff on two wheels. Now, occasionally, I'll get off topic, and I will ramble on or rant and rave about some social issues or, you know, it usually gets me in trouble when I do. But the bottom line is this, if you have a passion for motorcycles, this is a channel you want to subscribe to. So I'd appreciate it if you click that subscribe button down below. And don't forget the little bell icon because that lets YouTube know you want to be notified when we come out with new videos. So look at the traffic this morning. Man, I got, I'm getting away a little late today. I'm also getting a low tire pressure warning. Um, first time I've had this, I've had these tires on here for probably a month and a half, two months, and I've never had to put air in these tires. So that concerns me. I'm wondering if maybe I didn't pick up a nail or something. I gotta hope not, because they're damn near new tires. That would really piss me off. If I have to replace that rear tire, because it's the rear tire, it's at 37 pounds, I'm going to go home and I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to see if there's a nail because I have not had to put any air in this tire. And I've checked it multiple times and it just sticks rock solid at 40 pounds. So we'll see when I get home if that tire has a nail in it. Now, on to other news. I did a, a video interview a couple days ago with Memphis Mike. A lot of you probably saw that interview. I'm going to put my uh, shield down here, protect my eyes a little bit. So a lot of you probably watched that interview with Memphis Mike, got a lot of good comments. I know a lot of you out there are subscribers to his YouTube channel. And uh, it was a, uh, I thought, a pretty good interview. It was pretty much off the cuff. We didn't plan any of it. We didn't script anything. I uh, just wanted to talk about his... Uh, experience with COVID and his experience with the accident that he had recently and um, I just thought it was a pretty nice interview now some of you know that I have another website another YouTube channel for the cruise industry hence the name cruise man and I don't know if you know the whole history, but that website's been around for about 19 years, almost 20. We're going on our 20th year next year. And uh, we have uh, been on more than 120 cruise ships over the last 20 years or 18 years, 19 years, whatever it is. And it was one of the largest, most successful cruise websites on the internet. But when the pandemic hit, it took a beating. We basically lost all of our revenue. All the cruise lines that did advertise with us quit advertising. And uh, we went to zero revenue like February, March of last, of 2020. And we have not been on a cruise since February of 2020. But next week will be our first cruise since the pandemic and we will be covering a new ship in Greece uh, for the uh, for Silver Sea Cruises and we'll be uh, covering that ship and 
doing a lot of video so if you're interested in cruise travel I would invite you to go subscribe to that YouTube channel as well I'll put it up on the screen I'll put a link down below and uh, we'll be doing cruise vlogs and our website cruiseport.com you can follow us on Instagram we'll be posting photos daily from the trip just thought I'd throw it out there in case any of you are interested in cruise travel make sure you uh, follow us on YouTube at cruise report so anyway that's that in other news you'll notice something new on my helmet I don't know if you can see it but I have received from Cena the new Cena Spider ST1 headset which they sent me to review and I was planning to review it and have the review out to you this week however I installed it in the helmet got everything hooked up a little bit different on this one when you first turn it on the first time you turn on the headset it automatically goes into mobile phone pairing mode which is kind of strange but you know saves you a step I guess and I was able to get it to show up on the Goldwing when I did the inquiry on the Goldwing the Goldwing said it had paired to the headset but the little flashing blue and red lights on the headset never went off and on previous Cena models once it gets paired to the Goldwing those lights go out and it just goes to a solid blue light or a flashing slow flashing blue light so bottom line is I have attempted two or three times and I have not been able to get this headset to successfully pair to the Goldwing as a mobile phone I have not tried mobile phone 2 and I have not tried connecting to it as a GPS but that really wouldn't work for me anyway when I get home I'm going to try pairing it as mobile phone 2 see if that works I have installed the new firmware when the headset came in it had 1.03 and I upgraded it to the current 1.1 so I have done that and I'll go through when I do my final review I'll tell you all the advantages differences changes to this headset over say the 50s I have a email in to Cena right now to ask my contact there or told him I was unable to connect and maybe I need to talk to a tech or something I'm not sure why basically I tried to use the same technique that I've used with all my other Cena headsets because it kind of looks like it works the same way you press the jog dial and the phone button simultaneously to turn it on you hold the phone button in for a few seconds to get it to uh, go into pairing mode or into mobile phone pairing mode and on all my other Cena headsets the Goldwing pairs as mobile phone one so we'll see I don't know I don't want to make a final judgment yet maybe there's some little trick that you have to do with this particular headset that you didn't have to do with the others and once I find out what that is I will certainly let you know because I want to get it to work now tomorrow if the weather holds up we're hoping we don't get rain tomorrow so if the weather holds up tomorrow I'm gonna to meet Don Smith again for breakfast and we're going to test out the open mesh communication between headsets he has a 50s and this through open mesh should be able to communicate uh, on open mesh and mesh 2.0 so we're going to test out that part of this headset and i can do that without you know connecting to the goldwing it doesn't have to be connected to the goldwing to do that so we shall see other than that I uh, will be doing a new coffee and comments this week it probably won't get posted till next week 
and there's going to be a little twist. I've got a lot of comments that some of you have posted through my YouTube channel. You've sent me emails. You've sent me uh, posts on Facebook, and I'm taking, I think I have six or seven different comments that I selected for this particular video, but we're going to do it a little differently this time, and I think you want to be notified, so make sure you click that subscribe button. So, that's it for me today, just a little thing to catch you up on what's going on. I look forward to uh, seeing you again. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. It's very important for our YouTube metrics and for how they rank us on YouTube. So I do appreciate it if you'll do that. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlog. Take care. Ride safe.